All right, Chris. Story number Slides three. Dollar General wants to become a bank. Uh, this is one of the cool stories that we have uh, for you all this week, I think. Um, according to Chain Storage, again, Dollar General is launching a series of new financial services, which include the introduction of Dollar General's proprietary spend well banking platform, also a buy now pay later test program with Sezzle and new FIS World Pay card rewards points. Um, for payment options. Now, Spendwell is perhaps the most interesting concept here. The Spendwell yeah. bank account and Visa card is issued through Meta Bank and is now available at Dollar General's 18,000 plus stores, as well as through a dedicated online platform and mobile banking app. All Spendwell accounts will also include free features and services such as direct deposit with early access to wages, ability to add cash at Dollar General, and online bill payment. Chris. I'm, I'm going to you for I'm first. Yeah, you're first. You want my take? I want your take because you you and I have been talking about this quite a bit as of late, I would say, like in the last three months, especially. We have we have 100 percent. You know, I I this, I, you know, I use I, you know, I can't you guys give me crap for throwing this around a lot. But this to me is potentially headline of the year running. Oh, it's in the running for that again. It is. It's a gangster move. It is. It's a, gangster a total move. gangster. It's move. It's a major headline. It's you got to stop using that superlative because it's driving me. Gangster crazy. move or headline of the headline year? Headline of the year. H O Y. For sure. All right, but here's the thing. It comes. You've as- got like 25 already, <laughs> and it's only the like we're in March. I have two. I don't even remember what the other one was, but it, oh, but anyway, it comes. This, the other thing, coincidentally, it comes the same week the company says it plans to add 10,000 jobs this year too. Yeah. Which is a you know disc- massive massive yeah. amount of people and distinctly different than the rest of the industry. Mm-hmm. Um. And this company sits, and we talked about this before, but this company sits at the intersection of so many positive attributes macroeconomically and has been playing its hand so well. Mm-hmm. Because what this speaks to is the trend that we're going to see more and more of. And that is what I call it, what the, the industry is calling now embedded finance. Explain that for the listeners. Put simply, embedded finance is the idea that anyone can become a bank. Okay. Anyone, anyone or any, any company. Any company, anyone, really yeah. anyone, if you, want to, if you want to go after it, anyone can do that. And the technology is such that becoming a bank is becoming much easier through software, essentially. Right. And this is why Walmart is going hard after this idea, too, because when you do it right, it makes your customer relationships very sticky. And you can also save a ton of money on the that goes right to the bottom line through all the lower banking fees that yes. you're able that you don't have to pay anymore because you are your own bank. Yes. And I'll name drop a company, which I almost never do on this podcast, but it's the coolest company that I've come across lately. And it's called Alvier. It's A-L-V-I-E-R-E. And you should check it out because it's all about this idea, which is that Target, Walmart, Home Depot, whomever can become their own banks Mm -hmm. and that can consumers can start interacting with them in that way. So for that reason, I think this is huge. When you think of the store footprint Dollar General has becoming the now local bank for everyone in America, massive, massive impact. You start connecting this with payroll and all that kind of stuff. Super awesome move. Yeah, I totally agree. You know, this is one I'm going to be doing a panel um, at Shop Talk about the future technology that will change the retail industry. And this was one that, you know, just in surveying the group that we're going to be talking with, you know, people just still aren't really aware of this They're yet not. in the industry. And so I think it's important to for us to call out this story, especially. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think it's only a matter of time, especially when you're talking about Dollar General, that is such a large presence, especially in the U.S. Um, and a larger presence. They're expanding to more stores. Um, they have the pop more, shelf concepts right, coming. Right. right. Like Dollar General alone has more customers than most banks do. And so in <laughs> right. addition to and then when you think about them, like adding other features to the store, they're adding produce, they're adding other mass retail items, pop shelf you mentioned. But being able to offer their customers an, a form of flexible payment still um, that benefits Dollar General and benefits the customer, like that's going to have a major impact. And, and I think really be like one of the the like North Stars in retail in the next couple of years, just what they're what they're putting together right now. Um, and we learned we did a podcast mm-hmm. with Sezzle this week, a live event on LinkedIn to check out if you guys haven't, but talking about how you know, having these kinds of options is going to dictate where people are choosing to do their shopping. And when you are a dollar general adding all these things that we just talked about, and you're competing with the Walmarts of the world, this is something that could change those shopping behaviors um, and increase those trips to dollar general. Yeah. I'm glad you brought that up too. Cause I'm, I didn't call, I didn't talk about it, but like the fact that they're now buy now pay later is a paying option in a dollar store. Right. 
Like that's crazy. Right. But it's now happening. Yes. I mean, my last thing I would say on this is like, I think, I think we're, what we're looking at here is Dollar General is like solely becoming Walmart back in like 1985, yeah. where it's becoming the pillar of the local communities. And I said this before about, I think a year and a half ago, two years ago, don't be surprised if this is a top 10, top 10 retailer in the next, you know, five to 10 years by volume, it's going to happen. These yeah. guys are that good at what they do. 